G'day, uh, yeah, Broden Holland here. We're uh, at Young, New South Wales. Um, we farm about 5,000 hectares, mainly wheat and canola, have some sheep as well. So spraying is a huge part of our program to control our weed, as well as uh, crop competition, but spraying is probably the most predominant um, way we control our weeds, and the sprayer is probably the most important machine on the farm. Uh, the G6 with the weed detect system has performed really well. It's I don't think it's ever not worked. The machine has 12 cameras across the boom, um, two at the front to do the front of the machine, obviously. And yeah, those cameras do roughly two metres themselves, two metres, two and a half metres per section. Um, and then they just control the nozzles under them. So the, the machine, we can travel up to about 23, 24 kilometres an hour, and the machine will detect the weeds and then turn the nozzle on all, all at that speed. The weed attack system increases our efficiency by quite a lot in our summer spraying. We've had three very wet summers the last couple of years and it's been a bit harder to get the full benefit out of them, but we've still seen some savings. And it just, in the end, it lowers our chemical use, which is the idea. What I say to everyone is if you're thinking about getting a camera system to spot spray your summer, summer weeds, I, I can't go past why you wouldn't buy a, a weed attack system. It works at the highest speed you can get on the market. It's one of the most effective and efficient, and you don't have to have, have another machine. It's a flick of a button to turn it on or off. So every day I get in that thing, and I think, are we doing the right thing having these cameras? It's, it's a lot of money up front. For green on brown, it would be very hard to have a machine without them now. Green on green, I can see the potential there and I can see where it's going to go but it's just a little while off for now and I think until you get a dual product system you won't fully see the potential for the weed detect system but in saying that though we've made quite some big savings over our summer spraying and yeah I think going forward we'd still go another system. For green on brown I'll 100% recommend it and tell anyone to go and buy it. For green on green I think you've got to look at your own use case. Um, for us, it worked because we have some really, really low weed numbers and we want to get to a point where we can spot spray with that and not use really deer chemical um, when we're chasing really low weed numbers. But I think, yeah, every person's got to look at it themselves and analyse it themselves because the green on green may not pay for itself that quickly. Um, but, you know, going forward with regulations and whole green farming and everything I think you know if, if we're saving chemicals that's only going to be a bonus and if we're doing a better job with less I think that's the aim of the game. Yeah so we've got a Gold Acres G6 120 foot uh, boom or 36 metres it's on 25 centimetre nozzle spacings with 3TS Pro so we're running theoretically three nozzles at once in a tiered system and it works awesome. So when we purchased our G6, we uh, got the Raven Auto Track high control, and it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, wouldn't have a machine without it anymore, but the, the cameras need to be at a stable height. So that auto height control just maintains that level boom um, and ensures that the cameras are, are at the right height for them to spray. So our local dealer, JJS Glass & Co in uh, Juni, they're awesome. Daniel, they're the mechanic, he's awesome. Uh, we've had two G6s now, and I think we've had an hour downtime over those two machines, and everything's been fixed over the phone, so can't speak highly enough about them. And um, yeah, Gold Acres, they're just, you know, they're a family, family run business, and they've, they've got the interest of the customer in their mind, so that means a lot to us.